Hello everyone, welcome back to the walkthrough. I noticed something as I was finishing the last part, as I was swinging the camera around. Yeah, that's just a little extra secret. <laughs> There's an arrow, throw your hat. Alright, so I guess I'm going to continue along this perimeter here and see what's up, namely in the tree. So, and also go down here, because why not? There's a hole. If, it, if there's a hole, there's probably a secret. And sure enough, there was. Rats, what the poop? What are they doing around peaches? I thought they would have exterminators for those sorts of dealios, but I guess not. Anyway, continuing along around here, you see there's 8 bits. If there's 8 bits, I'm gonna do the 8 bits. And we start off by going here, but don't, don't, don't jump the gun here. We gotta go... All the way around, because if you jump, you jump out the top. <laughs> if I recall correctly. And there we go. And then you go outside and go into the full 3D world. And voila! There's your star. Yeah, I think if you jump out of the top, you just pop out the top. Taking notes around the well. A well? What do you mean a well? Timmy's stuck down there? Uh, oh no, I guess you don't jump off the top there. I guess maybe I was thinking of some other one. Alright, let's go down the well. <laughs> Why not? It's the post game, we gotta explore everything and... It looks like we are in full on 8-bit town this time. <laughs> I mean, literally... Down to the absolute detail of the blocks themselves of Mario 1. Here we go. Now, oh! Did you see what happened there? Did you see that? When you're in this black zone, you are okay to jump to the next side, and but you gotta stay within the, that black zone. Got it? Good. It's kind of tricky, but of course it moves away from me as a... I just wanted to demonstrate it. I didn't want to wait around. <laughs> the only thing that isn't quite authentic here is the Mario clothing. Because the Mario clothing didn't have this bright of a palette. Let's just put it that way. And make sure it's all closed before you make that jump. Otherwise, it'll just poop out. But now over here is a bottomless pit. And down is death. So beware. Yes, they are actually transforming with me. From the dimensions, <laughs> there's a moon that I want to get up there using a bullet. Well, maybe I can't that way. Oh, I went too far ahead. <laughs> I wanted to get as much time as I had by get like just ending up at the very edge of the black. But alas, I went just a smidge too far. All right. So this is how you're normally supposed to do it. You don't have to wait at all. You're just supposed to go boop 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 boo as you go. Yeah. Alright. This is actually pretty tricky. <laughs> like, at, at certain points of it. Uh, yeah, I don't... Oof. I was gonna say, I don't... Do I actually need the bullet to get that moon on that? I might. I don't remember. Maybe it's like a bullet hop? Dealio, like multi-hopping across bullets or something? Uh, I don't seem to be timed properly for that. Oh, whatever. I got it. Yeah, I guess that was how I was supposed to do it. Thank you for refilling my health, because I need it after my fumbling around there. And now we try and make it back to... well, not back, we try and make it to the end of this route. Remember, wait until they com go together completely... well, I was I guess you don't have to go that completely. But <laughs> hold the run button, always remember to hold the run button, cross one square gaps, and we are racing against the uh, black screen here. So be wary of that. It's going up. We gotta stay ahead of it. Good. Um, I think I gotta wait here. Yeah. <laughs> because I don't think it'll... What? Because I... It, no, that's not... Uh, isn't this supposed to move to the side? Because if I move over here, isn't it just gonna poop me out into my doom? Uh... No? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was mistaken! Greatly mistaken! I forgot that that was a safe transition. And now, you gotta watch for the blue. Stay within the blue to be safe. 
And, well, sky, I should say. I, I, I guess it's sky? It's... Paper? Sky? It's paper mache sky? I... No, I don't... I don't know. <laughs> and just go up here and follow the fuzzies around. I gotta reach that pipe, basically. Uh, I kind of want to show all the paths if possible. Maybe I won't be able to. Now that I came over here, or at least not very easily. Oh, gravity! <laughs> okay, whatever. E scary. Very scary. E I wanted to give myself a little running jump there. Okay, so it's just coins over there. That's not that big of a deal. Okay. Lamar. Until victory. Can we do this? We can most certainly do this. <laughs> Secret 2D treasure is mine. And... Oh, the hardest part is getting in that pipe. <laughs> okay, we're good. You can actually t take a look around the whole route that we did here. It goes all the way around there, and it come, goes down there, and yeah. Anyway, I do believe that's complete. I don't think there are any purple coins or anything in there, but I could be wrong. I've said it before. <laughs> Alright, so, per speaking of purple coins, there's a couple underneath of that tree near the well. Watch on those woods, it's very dangerous! How dangerous though, tell me, tell me, what could be so dangerous down here that people shouldn't go into the woods? Well, it turns out that this is Goomba Forest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, these are the dangers, the Goombas are the dangers. <laughs> <laughs> Very dangerous indeed. Uh, I think I want to stack up some Goombas here, actually. Uh, well, I need the power of the hill to... Get on! Ooh. Well... Hmm. Uh, can I do it now? Uh, I might actually have ruined it. Well, I can always come back to that a little later. <laughs> well... Okay, well, but you could you could chase me around. You're not faster than I am, anyway. <laughs> I'll grab this, and I guess I'll make myself another vine. Remember, I showed you before that these don't lead to, ne to bonus areas necessarily, but they just lead to kind of like alternate pathways to get around. Well, this one actually does lead you to a bonusy type area. And don't forget about the purples behind there. So I guess I'll just go in here and reset the Goombas for later and do a boss. It is the UFO Catcher of Doom. Let's do it. And I think they automatically poop us into... Oh, no, they don't. I was going to say automatically poop us into the uproot. But not likely, I guess. Or not yet, I guess. <laughs> and you know the dealio on how to get this started, but we've got a lot more lasers this time around. Let's put it that way. <laughs> it's going to be pretty fun. Hopefully you've mastered the powers of your uproot, because you're gonna need it, dealing with the timing here. Especially when all those lasers around the perimeter and stuff like that start shooting their lasers, and yeah. So let's go! As usual, just try and rush everything as quickly as possible, just to try and make things nice and smoothly, but as you see the lasers, they're a starting kind of soon. <laughs> That's part of the upgrade process of this boss here. All right, let's go ahead, smack it around. Looking good. Oh no. Oh no. Here comes the major problems now. You gotta have good timing. Gotta have masterful skills of jump rope. Luckily for us, we have. 100 jumps to our name, and yes. Okay, maybe it's not so much a jump rope as it is a extend rope. Oh shoot! <laughs> uh, that's not good. Uh, that's not good. Well, it's good enough for us to safely make it to phase three, which is the hardest of the phases. Oh man! Oh man! I think the original only had two phases actually. Ooh! And it's going to be sending all things in a chain reaction of that humongous, humongous, oh no. Oh, okay, we're good, we're good. Let's continue on, try not to get lasered. Hopefully, smoothly enough. Should probably just get past this here. Okay, well, actually I'll be out of the range if I, yeah, 
Okay. All right. All right. That'll do. That'll do. Yeah! Victory! <laughs> yeah, the addition of those, uh, these sentry beams there, lots, lots more interesting of a fight, I've got to say. <laughs> And also, like, that extra, that extra phase to it as well. Anyway, multi-moon slash triple moon is a mine. Yahoo! And, that definitely was the Steam Gardens area, unlike Monsieur Lancer. <laughs> Where he's, like, in the cloudy area or whatnot. Well, anyway, let's go. We're out of here. And let's Goomba stack. Let's start with that three stack this time, though. Just to kind of eliminate the variables. <laughs> can I knock around? Yes, I can knock around mushrooms with Goombas. Sure, why wouldn't I be able to? Green one there. That might be. I might give a prize. I don't know. <laughs> this is certain color. I mean, a different color. So that's sometimes an indicator in video games of something. I don't remember what I'm stacking these for, but I'm pretty sure I need a Goomba stack. If I recall correctly. Uh, I'll just hit this checkpoint at Goomba Woods and keep looking around. I guess I can leave my stack here while I go and grab these purples up here really quick. That stack will be right there when I need it. There we go. Six right by the waterfall. And I'll just take my stack along, why not? Yeah, I thought there was like a Goomba switch of some kind around here. Yeah, this, oh, that one is actually a really awkwardly challenging one. Uh, don't be scared, it's just me, it's Mario! <laughs> Timer challenges exist here too. Uh, I guess I'll grab the purples. Sink, sink, sink. Don't go in the water! Don't you... Okay, you're stuck on the edge. I was gonna say, I'll lose my Goombas if you guys decide to flop in the water. Uh, okay. So yeah, where did I take these suckers before? Don't be scared, I'm okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> uh, hmm... I guess it's just, I guess it's okay to wander around with here with Goombas all day and all night. Oh, maybe that was it. I was supposed to take, take Goombas over there. Toad, Toad Defender. Yeah, I think it was something like that. This, this Toad was, uh, not scared of Goombas, but if you take only one Goomba there, he'll be, uh, he'll be okay with it, but if you gotta take a whole stack there, I'm gonna, I'm gonna test that out, actually. Alright, I need deep enough water here to eliminate our Goombas. Yeah, or maybe I should have just taken that single Goomba. Hmm. Hold on. Kind of like I was gonna say, kind of like kill. Well, I don't know. It's kind of kind of difficult when you're that tall now. So maybe what I'll do is check that out later. I'll just go to the rocket right now and then come back to that. See what else dialogue is there. Hey, you can probably put their picture match just what? Way up in the cloud kingdom. Fun. Can you? Can you? Well, that's actually a different kind of picture match at the Cloud Kingdom. I was going to show that earlier, but I was immediately pooped over to uh, the next kingdom. Yeah, the Ruined Kingdom. I'll get back to them eventually, it's okay. Picture match! Picture match! Put your best face forward! If you can match your master picture match! It's kind of like a tongue twister. I'll give you a moon power moon! I'll give it a try! No. I'm again! Okay, fine. Yes, 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 yes. I'll try. Alright! Get on up there! I think there's two of them that I gotta do here. Let me explain how picture match works! See this character's face right here? I... I recognize it. <laughs> Take a good look! Cause you're gonna have to put it back together! Capture the facial features with your hat, then rotate and move and place them! Oh, and each time you place a facial feature, it'll disappear! You learn points based on how well you recreate the face. Best score is 60 points, so try to do better than that. Alright, let's picture match! Show oh boy. So, we're gonna take control of it. And I think it's actually something like around here. I think it's tricky to get a feel for where things go here. So, you might, might have to do this a couple of tries. You gotta notice that there's a Goomba mouth here. Uh, I need an eyebrow if you don't mind. Uh, oh shoot, that's actually... Uh, is that the right... I think that's the right eyebrow. I think the longer ones are for the Goomba. Okay, let's leave that one there. 
rotate, rotate. Let's try and put an eyebrow here. I think it was somewhere there. <laughs> I really hope so. Um, the mouth, the mouth was nearish to the bottom, nearish because it's not. It's not like way down here. It's more like here in Mario's facial features. Pop that there. We need a mustache though. We need a mustache. Can we place the mustache well though? That is the question. Then I gotta put a nose on top of that. I think a mustache is roughly equal to the sideburns, I thought. I don't know if it matters which way you rotate the nose, because it's kind of symmetrical, but I'll put it here. And I'm gonna assume that I'm done. I think I'm done. <laughs> All done! Hold on. Take all the time you need! I just wanted to see the dialogue. I really am done, I think. And maybe I got over 60? Uh, oh, that's actually pretty good. Oh yeah! <laughs> I, think, I think I actually got the eyebrows mixed up. But hey, I got a power move. <laughs> yeah! Indeed. Picture match, basically Mario. And, hold on. Picture match, picture match, made a little harder. Get a high score, you little power moon, I'll try! I mean, I'll try. <laughs> Alright, memorize that face. Each time you place it, it'll disappear, yada yada yada, dealio. Passing score is 80 points this time. So, okay, I guess it's, his mouth was a little bit lower than I thought. Hmm. Maybe I'll go like mouth. Uh, no, I don't know how I should build it really because it's it's so hard to visualize the face once once it disappears At least it is for me. I don't know All right, let's picture match <laughs> I'm just trying to think of what might be. Oh, yeah, the frame disappears this time Ah, Yes, I remember now That's what makes it extra hard uh, Okay, so I'll try and Keep your eyes on where things were generally, I guess. Hopefully. I... Oh, man. I am not confident about this at all. <laughs> Just gotta kinda hope for the best here. I mean, it's, it's fair. It, it gives you a preview ahead of time and everything like that, but... It's still hard as poop. Oh, wait. Yeah, I think it's like this eye angle-ish. Yeah, I think it was- Oosh, I think that was too high actually. Well, we're gonna find out. <laughs> there, I hope. Yeah, I think I, I think the longer side of the eyebrows are actually along the outer outer side, I thought. Uh, so I'm gonna try that this time. I, I don't think this is the winning run anyway, but we're gonna see. It's it's relatively forgiving, but not that forgiving. And what's the damage? <laughs> I'm done. All right. Yeah, that was way too high with the eye. Well, 63. Yeah, I got the the whole facial features way too high in general. Whew. That's gonna be a toughie. <laughs> Let's try it again. I remember this one took me like an hour my first try, but I mean my first time through the game, but I should be able to actually get a get a refeel of it. I'm gonna actually try and run over to the mouth as soon as I can. And let's go! <laughs> Because it's like, as that's fading away, I want to kind of get at least something in position uh, to kind of get a baseline of where I should be visual visualizing other things. Okay, let's try there. And I'm also trying to, trying to keep in mind where our last little edge of the, the mouth was. Now I'm going to go up to the nose, which is slightly overlapping. Oh, please, mother of Arceus, get it this time. <laughs> slightly overlapping. Not a lot overlapping, just slightly. And then the eyes were... Oh, wait, wait, it's here. The eyes were a bit under the nose. 
Okay, and then this eye was pretty close to the other eye. And also, slightly overlapping with the nose. I think this is gonna be a good one. I think this is gonna be a good one. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> uh, okay, so it's like about there. Cause yeah, he's doing like an, a happy eyebrow expression, which which would not be like angry eyebrow expression, which would be if the longer side was towards the middle. That's why I think the short side was in the middle. I need to recheck that though if I fail this. All right, did I do it? Did I do it? Please tell me I I got eighty. Well, that's sixty-six. Uh, so much harder to visualize. Fuck. Okay, let's try it again. <laughs> we're gonna get this. Oh, we're gonna get this. It may be a nightmare to get, but we're gonna get this. Oh no, the the larger side of the eyebrows are towards the inside, so maybe that's where I'm losing most of the points. Well, besides misalignments in general. Uh, but yeah, all right. I mean, yeah, the top score is like a hundred, but still, still. It's only a matter of getting a feel. And I noticed that his chin actually goes along this line here. So that's actually a, a decent baseline to start things. So, just leave that there. Alright. Definitely even harder this way when, when you don't have more colors and outlines and stuff like that. But that's the challenge of the art form. Alright. I don't really don't know if it matters which which way you put the nose. Uh, well, like like because it's just an oval. So is there any way to mess up putting the nose if you flip it around the other way? I don't know. Right. Do, 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 do. Trying to visualize it as best I can. I keep putting the eyes too high, so I'm gonna do a little lower this time. And we go. <laughs> we go and hope. That's all we can do is go and hope. Okay. Now remember to put the long side of the eyebrows towards the middle. Somewhere like th there was it. And they were wider than I was putting them as well. Because they were like extended out the, the sides, so... About there, was it? I hope? Please tell me I got it this time. Please tell me I got it this time. I know, 80 points. Mm, I still kind of did it too high. 83, I did it though! Yeah! <laughs> thank you, thank you. I will take that power move. <laughs> <sighs> that I'm not sure I would call that a stellar Mario, but it's it's a decent Mario. <laughs> uh, I don't I think that's the last of the challenges here. He's like, ah, oh, power moves. You can play if you want. No thanks. I don't care about a perfect score with this one. That's kind of a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, I do kind of wonder if it was the eyebrows that was getting me because I put them on the wrong sides. So, yeah. Okay, last thing this part is to uh, talk to that courageous toad up there. If I can do some fanciness. Yeah, there we go. And he's like, Hi, I'm getting this power move from Goombas. I'm not scared. Nope, not me. So, yeah, I think you need to bring more than one Goomba there. Oh, yeah, I forgot to grab these. Okay, well, I got them now. So, I'm just going to try one Goomba. Take him over there and... Wait, actually, can I shortcut this? Uh, no, not there at least. Wait, 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 did I, did I grip onto that? Uh, oh, 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 I can! <laughs> if you can grip onto it, you can probably climb it. Uh, okay, and now, oh no, you only need one Goomba for that. Oh man, oh man, I Goomba stacked for no good reason. <laughs> well, you're going in the water. Just because I'm angry. His motor scooters are so cool! Yeah, they are. You can really whip yourself around there. <laughs> uh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna 
save the purples there for the next part, because that's where I'll probably end up starting, because I, I just keep going around the perimeter clockwise and stuff like that. So with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part when we continue our trek around the perimeter.